breaking news overnight. The man accused of killing rapper Takeoff bonded out of jail. This is a story you saw first here on ABC 13. And our Charlie Etty is live now. Charlie, the attorney had said repeatedly he could not make this bail. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jacob. I mean, his bond was lowered from $2 million to $1 million, and defense attorneys said that that still was incredibly high, but we've learned that Patrick Clark, the suspect, has posted that bond and is now out of custody. So part of his bond conditions is that he must remain at his parents' home located on the far east side of Houston, and he also cannot have any contact with the family of the victim, uh, the family of the rapper known as Takeoff. And so it's been about two months since Kirschnick Ball was fatally shot outside of a bowling alley here in downtown Houston. Clark is the only suspect charged with the, with his murder, and he did post that $1 million bond yesterday. So this comes after court hearings where his defense attorney, Letitia Quinones, argued that a bond higher than $300,000 was simply too much and pretty much impossible for Clark or his family to be able to afford. So initially, Clark's bond was set at $2 million right after his arrest. Meanwhile, prosecutors say Clark Clark's work as a local DJ and a strip club promoter deals largely in cash, so it's really hard to determine how much money he actually has access to. They also raise concerns over him being a possible flight risk if he is not in custody. Well, Clark's bond never dropped below $1 million, and his attorney at the time expressed her frustration. Well, I have a lot of respect for Judge Hill, but he's a human being too. And so I believe that there are a lot of factors that went into this consideration and to this decision. Um, and I think the high, just to be frank, I think the high profile nature of it and all the media attention that it's getting had a lot to do with it. And another bond condition for Clark is that he did have to give up his passports to the court and he is due back in court on March 9th. Charlie Etsidi, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.